What's up YouTube? You're checking out the Frequent Flyer and I'm back out here with the King Kong Fly Egg 130 and I have a 3S battery on this thing. I did swap out the connector. I did test it with that other battery and it did work but still the same results. It, the punch was the same and all. Short flight times and all. So um, just gonna uh, test this 3S battery. I did swap out the JST for an XT30 you can see there I had no other way to test the 3S because all of my batteries and all most of my quads I converted them to XT30 so we're gonna plug this thing up to 3S spoiler alert it does in fact work <laughs> I was flying this already on 3S so let's plug it in doing that because I don't have the Devo on so the Devo's on now and let's take off with it so it does indeed fly with 3S and I tested the motors after I flew it and the motors weren't unbearably hot they were a little warm but not too hot to touch so that's a good sign Right away, let's do a punch out with 3S. So as you guys can see, this thing gets really awesome with 3S. Almost just like the 110. So really awesome model here. I need to up my rates it flips over really slow I didn't change any of the pids or anything so I think this thing is made for 3s though because it seems to fly better with 3s and I was noticing a little bit of flutter when I descend uh, when I had 2s on it but now that I fly it with 3s it's just all the way smooth now it's quiet and smooth but it does get a little loud when you punch it out And this one is less floaty than the 110 GT. The 110 GT, when you do a punch out like that, it floats in the air for a long time. So that could be good or bad. Depends on your preference. There's a bug on me. Darn bug made me crash the 110 before. <laughs> oh, we're in acro mode, by the way. Dragonflies are still up there, bothering my quads. Yeah, so I can't do too much in acro with it in this state now because it flips over so slow. I'm thinking maybe the pids are set to 70, maybe all of them. It seems like that's what they like to do, put all the pids to 70. This thing is pretty awesome, y'all. So, the next video, we're gonna test out the, the FPV with this thing. I haven't FPV'd it yet. I did get a mount for my, wow, there's a large bird up here flying. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks weird though. And I couldn't tell if my buzzer was going off or not. <laughs> Something over there is beeping <laughs> and it sounds like a darn quadcopter, but it's not this. I was going to say the beeper, the buzzer on this thing is super low. So I don't know what I have the minimum voltage set at.
Oh, but I was looking at that bird that was flying up there. It was pretty large. I don't know if you guys were able to see it on cam. It was pretty high up, but it looked like it had a tail on it. <laughs> Got mystic creatures flying around here. Dragons and stuff. Dragonflies. <laughs> But this thing is pretty awesome. Whoa, a huge bumblebee was just in front of my face there. <laughs> all this vegetation over here. I guess that attracts all of the bugs and stuff. And you guys can't see it, but they're constantly going after this thing. I'm surprised we didn't have an incident with them yet. Getting grinded up in the props or anything. So let's try a punch out now. We've been flying for a little while. So the buzzer just, um, it trips the, budget, the buzzer when I do a punch out now. But just fast flying around isn't making the buzzer go off. So I guess with this battery you get a pretty nice flight time. I imagine if you were doing high stress maneuvers, doing FPV, doing a bunch of flips and rolls though, I think that you would have a shorter flight time. Every time I do a flip, it makes noise. There we go. So when I do funnels now, it yells at me. We're just gonna land it right now. So that's it, a quick test. It is King Kong 130 fly egg on 3S. And the motors are just a little warm. So that's it, awesome quadcopter. I love this thing. King Kong is killing it right now. Fly egg on 3S. Thanks for watching.